Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Chuck Rose, and welcome to Up Chuck, the show where anything can come up and probably will. You've been listening to my guest's song, I Hate Every Bone in Your Body But Mine. And he's a special guy, and I'm really glad to have him on the show tonight. He is a county and western legend, and he's a patriot. Let's have a big hand for Buster Love. Buster Love. <laughs> Buster. Good to have you here, Buster. It's mighty fine to be here tonight, Chuck. You know, I've been listening listen to your show for years, and I've been a big fan. And I know I, we we had our little rehearsal today. I didn't go over this with your producer, and I hope you'll permit me to say something that's on the top of my head. Go right ahead. I want to thank each and every one of y'all in the audience and the people in the Internet cloud, the WWW people up there, uh, looking down and uh and uh, seeing what I'm doing here, as you know, I've been uh, away for 20 years. I was uh, uh, unjustly incarcerated. And I want to thank you for your cards and your letters. Uh, hell, it wasn't even my goat. But I know we're going to probably talk about that later. And I just want to thank you all because it just means a lot to me. And, oh, no, really. Oh, oh, oh no, really. Y'all, y'all, oh, man. I'm going to tell you, it does my, the warms the cockles of my heart. I don't know what a cockle is, but I, it's warming me up. And I, I, I just want to thank y'all. That's all. It just it means a lot to me. I like it, Buster, that you do speak from the heart like that. A lot of people may not know who you are, so why don't you give them a little background on yourself? Well, the way I grew up uh, down in uh, Fairdale by way of Murfreesboro, Tennessee, uh, my, my family was wandering minstrels. Uh, and they had a period uh, where they were playing uh, gospel music, and uh, my dad used to listen to uh, Lefty Frizzell and Ursel Hickey. <laughs> I, 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 I just, uh, it was like I had a void in my heart. And it's like, uh, I heard that music and it spoke to me. It spoke yeah. to me. So speaking to me like that, I, it's like I, one day I just said, you know, I'd like to play some county and western music. And I called up a couple of friends of mine. I used to hang out in the neighborhood. I think you guys call it the hood. But anyway, I hang out with the neighborhood. Uh, Les Manley, uh, Peter Gazer, uh, and then uh, uh, Craven Moorhead. Now, Craven was a bass player. He used to play uh, ukulele, and he played uh, oboe. But then he switched over and started playing bass because uh, he was better for strings. That makes sense. Now, <laughs> which one was your drummer? Uh, Les Manley, L-E-S, Les Manley. Les Manley uh -huh. was a drummer. Now, I'd heard uh, and read in that a rumor, maybe, that you wanted to fire him. No, that's fake news. That's, you got to get your facts from www.whitepeoplerus.com. Now, let me just go over this for a second, because people have been saying, I didn't fire Les, I fired the rest of the band. But the truth of the matter is, Les and I are just like two peas on a corn. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I think I do know what you're I saying. I bet you do. Yeah, I, I, I see. You, you Hollywood, Florida types. Well, Buster, you know, I know that you a little lean a little bit toward the right sometimes. And uh, the political part of our country right now. I mean, what do you think of our commander in chief? Well, I think they got to give him a chance. You know, he, he, he said he was going to beat ISIS and he beat, beat ISIS. He kicked ISIS. And, then, and he, now he, 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 he said he knows more than the generals and uh, like general, the old school, General Schwarzkopf, MacArthur, Patton, General Mills, those were old school generals. Now you got these uh, insurance general. Does that make you feel safe? I don't think so. Hell no. You know, no. And, and if we're going to talk about safety, let's get the wall. You know, the thing about the wall is it's keeping out undesirables. You got them Indians coming over here and they want to be surgeons and want to be doctors. Well, what if I want to be a surgeon or a doctor? Me and my friends hanging out going, hey, I think I'll be a doctor. Well, we can't be a doctor. They take all the jobs. That's all I'm saying right there. You know, and if they built that wall a long time ago with the Indians and everything, Custer would still be alive. You know, let me take a second out here and say something. I really... I, I, I get all worked up, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah, I do. I do know what you mean. This is interesting. Y'all ever seen a cup like that? 
This is an interesting cup. Where did y'all get that? It looks like it probably made in Pottsville, Pennsylvania, or something like that. Uh, it probably says on the bottom, maybe, maybe something like this. Way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Rhode Island. <laughs> Buster, uh, you're not a feminist, are you? You know, <clears throat> I don't think you'd call me a feminist. I don't think anybody would call me a feminist. But I love women. I've married four or five, maybe six of them. And... <laughs> And the truth of the matter is, I, I like women, but I, a, I have a problem. I and mean, here's my problem. Okay, tell me. <clears throat> I don't think women should be on, on the face should be on money. They're all, and, and, and I think a lot of people agree with me because you got that, uh, uh, that um, uh, uh, Susan B. Anthony uh, quarter and that, and that one with the Indian nut succotash. Um, <laughs> I, you know, if you ever look at that, nobody, want, y'all, nobody has one on them right now, I guarantee you. And, and uh, Succotash, you look at it, and she's wearing a blanket, and she's even got a baby. Who brings a baby and wears a blanket to a job interview? That's my question. Now, you got, you got, you got, you got, you got, uh, you got Hamilton, and you got President Franklin and President Hamilton on there, and they dressed up when they was on there. And the thing about it is, um, you don't have a Broadway musical, you know, Anthony, Susan Anthony, but you got one in Hamilton. That's all my point. That's all I'm trying to say. Well, you said it well. I uh, thank you. Thank yeah, you. there's some truth to that. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. um, and in, as far as you being politically active, uh, I've, you, I've heard you're kind of starting your own movement. Yes, I am. Uh, the acronym is uh, it's it's better off whooping every liberal. B o w e l. Better off whooping every liberal. And that's B o w e. -L. Better off whooping every liberal. And that's your movement. That's right. That's the movement. That's okay. That's that's nice, uh, Buster. There seems to be some division among people today. I mean, you got there's a lot of division. Do you want to expound upon that? What do you think causes that? What I think is this, Chuck. I think that that people right now, a lot of them only believe what they want to believe, but the right hand in the government don't know what the left hand is. You got the right hand, straight up. Look at it, straight up, straight up. I believe in Jesus. I believe in Jesus. Left hand's over here going, I don't want some pot. I don't want to smoke pot, and I don't believe in Jesus. And it's all willy-nilly, willy-nilly. One ain't looking at the other. They don't know where they are, willy-nilly. Y'all know what I'm talking about, willy-nilly, willy-nilly. <laughs> Well, you think you can get them to understand that? Well, all right, hold your right hand in the air like you don't care, all right? Now, straight up. Now, it's like Jesus, right? Straight up. Now, left hand's all willy-nilly. I don't want to smoke pot. I don't want to smoke pot. See? All right. That's, that's very good. I think I made my point quite clear. You did. It was, you know, it's doggone it, <laughs> you know? I mean, it's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, don't you think? It's a... You know what? It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world, and every dog has its day, and that dog won't hunt. You lay down with fleas, you're going to get up with dogs. A bird in the hand, sticker in the bush, and what goes down, got to come up, Chuck. Yes, it does. Buster, let's take some qu have some questions from the audience. Yeah, has anybody out there got any questions for Buster? Is there anything you'd like to ask Buster? Richard, uh, could you, uh, how, this lady right here, yes. Hey, um, Buster. My name's Kay, and I'm from Hampton, Georgia. And I have a question because, you know, some of us out here like that wall idea. Some of us don't like it too much. So I just want to hear more from you because you're such an expert on that wall thing. If you could tell us a little bit more. Well, first of all, I just want to say thank you for being here tonight, Kay, and, and give my love to everybody down in Hampton. I played some of the finest uh, skating rinks down there and, and just wonderful people in Hampton, Georgia. Now, as far as the wall goes, now my, here's my thinking on this. I believe this with all my heart. We lost a lot of people in the Bowling Green Massacre. And I believe what we should do is defecate the wall to all those people. Have a big ceremony and defecate the wall to all the people we lost in Bowling Green. Now, I don't know if everybody else feels that way, but that's how I feel in my heart. Good. Good answer, Thank you. I love Jesus and I love this country. I love this country and I'll die uh, for something. Buster, why don't you play us a song? Oh, I, I'm not prepared to do that tonight. Y'all want to hear it play? Y'all want to hear it play a song? Buster, come on, Buster. You got to do it. Come on, Buster. Yeah. You got it, Buster. Well, since you got my guitar already plugged in over here, I, damn, I, I watched this thing this morning and it shrunk. All right. <laughs> is that, All right. Is that less, Paul? Oh, uh, it's lesser, Paul. Uh, 
Ezra Paul. Yeah, I, I'm gonna do a little thing here. It kind of, it was it was originally a gospel song, and uh, I changed the words a little bit. It was an old timey song, and I kind of adapted it. So I'm gonna do this for you, and I'd like a little audience participation. Y'all mind help me out there tonight? Yeah. All right. Here we go. I'm going to play this song, and I hope y'all can help me out. Uh, Chuck, help him out a little bit, would you? All right, I'll lead him in. And now we'll take a second out before I go ahead and just thank you for having me once again. Thank the beautiful people here for coming tonight. Good pleasure. Thank you. Don't be kind to waste your time on assholes. Assholes. They'll say things just to bring you down. Joy is something they can only read about. And there's one thing you can live without Assholes, assholes Driving your car, you won't get far There's an asshole, asshole He'll cut you off cause that's what assholes do Traffic's backed up way behind There's nothing on his mind Just an asshole without a clue Speaks asshole so very fluently, and he doesn't give a damn. Saying, you know who I am? Is this asshole you or me? Cause we're assholes. Asshole. 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 Assholes are everywhere. One, two, quattro, ten. <laughs> all right, folks, that's about all the time we have. Thank you for coming. Tune in next week when my special guest will be Polly Shore, Jimmy Dynamite Walker, Scott Bayo. That's it. Good night, folks. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>